All right. So feel free to say hello. I don't know who's joining us. Um, Marilyn will be back in a few. Um, Emily, could you just uh, uh, stop screen sharing so I can take a picture of everyone who's in right now? Oh, sure. Yeah, that's a oh, good idea. Just one so, second. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Maybe you can put your camera on if you like. Or put your, your camera on so I can take a picture, please. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Fantastic. One second. Awesome. I'll take another one. Okay. 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 Done. Great. Thanks. We'll take more at the end when uh, more people join us. So thank you so much for honoring our invitation. And um, this is really an idea to bring together all the Ericsson alumni. We thought before the year ends, um, it would be nice to connect. We have been uh, having a lot of programs running with Ericsson, both with um, the Art and Science of Coaching and the Coaching Competencies for Leaders uh, since 2018. And this has been a special year in itself. And uh, at the same time, it has brought its advantages. Uh, one being that we're able to connect with each other from around the globe, irrespective yeah, of our locations. Um, and, and so I think that's a benefit and, and something really, really to be grateful for. Uh, today's session is, is quite informal. Um, as you can see, we have a little one joining us, <laughs> Master Fabian um, and the little boy, welcome. Ericsson is a very uh, kind of warm, knit family. Um, I want to welcome you all um, and just kind of share with you the agenda for today, uh, which is really going to be, um, just give me a minute. So I'll share with you a bit of background where we started, kind of to celebrate our journey. And then I, I don't know if Richard has joined or anyone from Ericsson headquarters or the faculty who can introduce the Ericsson team. Um, I know some of our past um, facilitators are in the in the call. You could also just share a few words. That would be great um, so that you can all get to meet them. Um, we do have alumni from uh, TASC and CCL. It would be great if uh, a few of you can also just share a bit of your experiences, how it has been like, and so that everyone else gets to meet you. And then, of course, we'll close by um, a word from Marilyn Atkinson, who is the president and founder of Ericsson Coaching International. So let me share with you a short story of where we started. It was in 2018, March. I visited the Ericsson offices and was welcomed by those beautiful people on the screen. I don't know if any of them will be on the team, but if you're watching this, a big hello and warm hugs from Nairobi, Kenya. Um, and thank you for doing everything that you do on behalf of um, Ericsson Kenya and the team. This was one of our classes facilitated by Halka uh, in 2018, I believe. Uh, if anyone is in the room, make sure you say hello before you, you leave today. Um, that's Halka facilitating a, one of our module one and two sessions at Moving Peak Hotel. And uh, those days we used to take pictures. We never used to wear masks. <laughs> Life has changed indeed. Um, very happy students. And we used to crown the teacher after the facilitation. This was Halka in uh, I think 2019, I can't quite remember. We've, we've now had about um, four cohorts, I believe, of the art and science of coaching module one and two. And we, we've had one for module three and four. Uh, I didn't manage to pull out all the pictures, but hopefully you can see some familiar faces. Fabian there, who's been, uh, he's, uh, we, we're, we're about to give him a Kenyan name. Fabian is special because when he came into Kenya, we were just uh, starting out Ericsson and uh, he has been so, so supportive in helping us, you know, begin our classes here by supporting and facilitation. And he has just been amazing. 
um, hopefully you come back soon when the borders are open, Fabian, so we can continue what we started. January 3rd. I'll be there sooner than you probably wish. <laughs> so. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. And 2020 is what it is. We moved to virtual. So the photos look, you know, not as interesting as the others, but, uh, <laughs> you know, they work. This is our latest group. I'm really, really excited about this group. About 14 of them, we have been able to do our very first art and science of coaching online with about 14 students, all from different backgrounds. Um, they are one of the best online classes we've had. <laughs> well done. And thank you for trusting us and, and, and just making it work for us, especially in 2020. We really appreciate you. And Nadia is on the call. She's the one who's facilitating this group. They finish uh, next week. Uh, they complete their module module two. And Nadia will tell you they have been an amazing, amazing class. Hopefully some of them will, will say something, say a few words um, before we close today's session. And uh, once upon a time, there used to be something called the world game. <laughs> when the world was all opened up. And uh, this is thanks to Marilyn. This is her baby. You will learn more about it. I believe we can still create world games, even in the virtual environment, really connecting coaches uh, from around the world and really impacting people's lives uh, through coaching. Uh, that was in Antalya, um, 20, what, 18 or something? I think, yes, yes, yes. So some of you on this call could be on that picture. Please say hello as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that is my last slide. And now I will welcome, um, I don't know if Richard is on the call, um, but anyone from HQ um, to, to speak on behalf of the faculty. And then we'll have a few facilitators also um, address us. Thank you. I'll stop sharing. Who wants to go first? Richard is here. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I am. Finally, I had some problems getting on there. Hello, everybody. Um, hi, Emily. Nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, certainly I was there in Antalya. That was a very nice picture to show. I don't think I ended up in that picture for some reason. I think I was off talking to somebody's, but uh, and it's certainly in spirit. So um, yeah, we had a two day faculty meeting as part of that um, that wonderful event. Uh, gosh, there's 80 different uh, people were in that meeting and it was a, a lot of fun. And um, now we're doing them virtually, of course, because of the way the world is. So uh, uh, I just want to put on gallery view and see how many people are there's oh, a bunch of faces there. Yeah. Oh, there's Lynn as well. And, uh, I don't know if Carl is here, Fabian, I can see you with your backdrop in purple. Yeah. And, uh, maybe I should put on my glasses to help. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I know getting old, it's awful. Uh, all right. And there's Nadia. Yeah. So we have some faculty here, at least on camera. Um, uh, Emily approached me, I think it was uh, a couple of weeks ago about having this sort of graduate meet and greet, uh, great idea. And uh, it's nice to see all your faces. Um, so uh, maybe I'll introduce myself a little bit first. So I am Richard Himes and I'm the faculty lead for Ericsson Coaching International. And uh, like you, I started as a student and uh, that was in 1998, I started taking uh, courses with Ericsson. I started actually uh, interested in NLP and uh, I never even knew coaching existed, but I did know that I wanted to work with people uh, in a positive framework because I was not uh, finding what I was looking for uh, when I was studying psychology uh, here in Canada. And uh, in many of those courses that I would take them with Marilyn Atkinson, who I know is here or should be here. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> And she was talking about coaching, coaching, uh, slipping in these pep talks about the world of coaching. And uh, finally, I had uh, enough interest to get some coaching sessions from a, a grad. I think I got three, three free coaching sessions. And that's 
uh, after having a couple of those sessions, I was like, this is what I want to do. And so uh, that was over 20 years ago. And then I became a facilitator. And then about six years ago, I became faculty lead. So uh, I, uh, overseeing, uh, assisting, supporting um, new, fa new facilitators coming on board and the existing ones. And uh, so I'm here to welcome you all to the amazing Erickson journey. Uh, one of the wonderful things about becoming part of the Erickson family is that uh, you can never go back to what life was like before. And uh, that's a good thing. Um, it's, uh, it's quite remarkable. And I'm sure the other facilitators on this call can say the same thing that uh, when we teach wherever it is in the world and to whoever, whoever it is in the world, there's a shared sense of value in this uh, in that fundamental Erickson belief or principle that uh, people have the resources and they're making the best choices. And uh, I think that's the, the magnet that draws us to this particular coaching school and has us, people like me, remain for over two decades still part of the, uh, the work uh, I love our mission statement, and many of us do. We like to quote it at Erickson. Here we are changing the world one conversation at a time. So in a small, intimate way, we are having an impact uh, on the world. And just like the stakeholders exercise, which I think I hope some of you remember from the Art and Zen to Coaching, that ripples out. Uh, those in, the, the impact of those little conversations ripple out to the conversations, hopefully that those people are having with others in the world and on it goes. So you're part of that now and it, uh, it doesn't end here. Uh, there's, uh, Erickson has a lot of other courses uh, to stay connected to this amazing work. We're hoping to have every single specialty course online. So uh, you can't uh, hide geographically from the this great work anymore. <laughs> And uh, so uh, welcome, uh, congratulations. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an incredible journey. I like to call what we do part of the solution focused movement. I think revolution is a little radical, but sometimes I might say it that way. And uh, that's a great way to be in the world, to, um, to begin to put one's attention on the solutions and outcomes instead of problems. Always believe that there's a solution to every problem, right? Um, in my relationships with my friends and family, I still surprise them with that thought. Yeah, there's always a solution when they don't believe there isn't. And as a coach, as a leader, to uh, look at somebody through the eyes of knowing they are capable and resourceful, even though they don't believe that, that's a remarkable gift to bring to others. Okay, I'm gonna let others speak now. Thank you and welcome. Uh, you, you have great things ahead of you being a solution focused coach, or if you were the CCL, uh, a solution focused leader. How about that? All right. All right. Who would like to take up the torch next? Uh, I think Emily was suggesting that some of the other facilitators can address the class. Yeah, she's nodding. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll address the class then. Hey, Marilyn. Hey, everybody. Uh, I was. Uh, with Fabian, the first person who came to Kenya and had the amazing experience of uh, your country and your people and teaching the art and science of coaching and meeting Emily and loving it, just loving it. Uh, I really enjoyed the quality of attention and interest that people had and the experience I had of, of how coaching could grow, just like Richard was saying, like a drop in the water and this, it circles out further and further and further because people were very committed. You are very committed and you're really interested in having uh, the quality of education and learning and uh, ability with people grow in your country. This is all about human development and human development is about the future of our children. And it's about our potential as human beings. And uh, it's an interesting thing, this word potential. I've been working with it lately because you can, just for fun, you can do it right now if you want, ask yourself, 
am I living up to my potential? It's a great question. And I hear the little voice inside, am I living up to my potential? And some of you get yes, and some of you get it almost, and some of you get, oh, I got to do more and all this kind of stuff. But we can also ask a question, an easy one to the unconscious mind, to your knowing system. Where on the scale am I right now in terms of living up to my potential? And you'll get a number. Don't you get a number right away? Yeah, I just got the number eight came up. Oh, that's interesting. So immediately, as soon as you get a number, then ask yourself the question, how can I raise that number one point? How can I move up scale with my own human potential, even one point? And as coaches, I mean, this is something we can ask other people, but really useful to ask ourselves. Because the extent that we're living up to our potential shows up with every client we talk with. And uh, when we are inviting our own inner knowing to move up one point, it shows mirror neurons work. They experience that and they start moving up one point on that scale. Now, this is really interesting. You can always uh, ask them, of course, because people have asked them all their life. You know, how many of you had parents who said, oh, you need to, uh, uh, you're not living your potential right now. What's, what do you need to do? And uh, so we can always explore it further because we do know what we want in life. We do know our purpose. We do know un unmistakably the great potential of our own life and what we can do to expand our learning, our loving, our capacity to create a meaningful life as far out as we need to grow it. So that's what I would invite you to do today. And then when you find something like in your coaching career that you're 100% committed to, go for it because 100% commitment works. It works a lot better than 90% commitment or 80% commitment. As soon as you say, I will make this happen, guess what? All sorts of forces in the world come, conspire to help you. The world shows up to make what you unmistakably know is a promise to the world, something real. And that's what's happened in the world of coaching in Kenya. I see it and I see it in Emily. I see it in all the trainers. I see it in the shining faces of people I met and I'm meeting now. I'm very happy to know you and assist you as you move forward with your purpose and your aim as coaches. So I wanna thank you for taking on coaching and making it happen in Kenya. And with that, I'll throw the ball. Who wants to catch it? Who wants to catch the ball? Um, if you'll allow me, I would kind of uh, catch the ball. Ooh, good, um, good, good. <laughs> because I am about to jump into a class in a couple of minutes. So I, I, I want to kind of share a little bit be before I have to leave you already again. Um, but everybody, it's so nice to see you again. I can not even call out every single person that I've gotten the, the privilege of being in touch with. And I'm sure that at some point I'll get the privilege of, of, getting, of, of meeting everybody from the newest cohort. And, and that's going to be nice. So from January, I'm going to be in the country again. I'm going to be back as the resident Mzungu. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's going to be nice. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Salma. Uh, great to see you too. Um, so I, I just want to say you guys are a very special group of people. Um, you are among the first 
on the whole continent to have come in touch with Ericsson and to get in touch with this kind of new way of thinking. And I think in the, not to get too grand, but but in, in the historical context of the continent and um, it, with how many white people have come and told people in Kenya and, and everybody else and, and everywhere else that you have to do it like this and you have to do it like that. And we tell you what to do and that will bring you salvation and all of that. So I think, I hope we have been able to transmit that this is different, right? This is a way that works to open up the potential, like Marilyn was just talking about, to open up the potential of people everywhere all over the world in a way that works in Russia, in China, in the US, in Brazil, in Germany, in Kenya, because it allows you to take charge, to take ownership of your own life. It allows you to empower the people around you in the way that they needed to be in the way they, with the, all the particular the, the peculiarities of Kenya of the African experience, but in particularly Kenya, with even the particular experience that you have belonging to any given tribe, um, being from Nairobi, being from Mombasa, being from the countryside, whatever, you can help anybody live their best life. And I think that's what what is so transformative and what has so much power and so much potential, where Still in Kenya, coaching and mentoring are used almost interchangeably, right? And, and it's about, uh, um, let me coach you. I'll tell you what to do. And that's not what we want to do. We help people figure it out by themselves. And I think with a population where what half, what, what's the latest figure? Half of everybody is below 30, if not even under 18. You, you have such a vibrant young community around you and the potential that is there the raw talent that is there, the passion, the work ethic that is existent in your communities is just unbelievable. And you are the multipliers. You are the people that can unearth that, that can help people bring that to where it matters. Because of course we can talk about um, change and insight and all of that, but that only really counts once it translates into visible change. And you are the people who can help your community members make that happen. So you're in an incredibly, well, in one hand, privileged position because it's a lot of fun to be doing that. But on the other hand, it's a lot of responsibility. And so I think everybody else will join in me in saying that if there's anything we can do to help, we certainly want to do that. Um, you, you are very lucky to have Emily who has brought Ericsson to, to Kenya. And the things that she's thinking of, the vision that she has, that she hasn't even dared to communicate, you know, a fraction of that to you. But the things that we've been kicking around, the things that she wants to do, where COVID got in the way a little bit, but, but in general, the, the things that she wants to enable you to do and she wants to put there for you is incredible, is amazing. And so whatever you can do to help her, whatever you can do to stay in touch with her, and you're doing that by being here right now, uh, I would encourage you to do that. And I certainly want to help Emily in any way that I can. And um, yeah, I have the feeling I took up quite a bit of space just now. So l let me just send much, much love from Germany and um, looking forward to being back in Nairobi. And even if we can't see each other in person just yet, maybe there's a way to do you know some stuff open air, um, but definitely we'll be really, really close in spirit. So thank you so much for your attention and um, have a blessed Christmas time and hope to see you all again very, very soon. Who wants to who wants to catch it sure i'll catch the ball <laughs> thank you fabian <laughs> well good evening everyone and first of all i want to say to emily um thank you so much for gathering us all together this was a wonderful opportunity to reconnect i want to give you the warmest congratulations on your recent re-election to the international coaching federation board the global board uh, it's just a thrill that you're there representing us because I, uh, you know, I have had firsthand experience with uh, the amazing vision you have for making a difference in the world. And I'm so inspired by what you do and what you've already created in Kenya. Um, I had the privilege to come to Kenya and teach a couple of modules in February of 2019, so uh, almost two years ago. 
and uh, I had a marvelous experience. And I see some of the folks here. I, I, hello to Jane and Salma and Maureen and Ceci and Stanley. I noticed your name here and I saw you somewhere. And now there's two screens, uh, two pages, so I can't see everyone at the same time. But um, it really warms my heart to reconnect with you all. And uh, uh, as some of my colleagues and as Marilyn, our founder, has been saying, you know, um, we have this absolutely amazing opportunity to, um, you know, ignite the spark that's in every human being to want to have the best life possible and to make a good life for the people that, that they love and care about. And the, the tools and the frameworks that are this body of work are what I love so much about them is how flexible they are, that they can accommodate uh, every culture and I'm, I'm a passionate interculturalist. I've worked in about 26 countries so far in my life. And I've always found, at, like, this is the model that accommodates more than any other I've ever seen um, to really let people find their own place in life, find themselves within uh, these frameworks, and they work. And I think it's because it unites all of the commonality of our humanity. You know, everyone wants to make a difference in their lives. Everyone wants to uh, find their gifts and contribute in the best way that they can. Everyone is wired. Our human brains are wired for learning our whole life long and for growing and for living into our potential, whatever that is. And it's funny, that word potential, because I think, you know, potential is a little bit like... Uh, nirvana. You never really get there, but you keep putting yourself on the path every single day and, you know, moving towards. And as soon as we grow to a certain level, then our vision opens up and we see what's next. What's the next possibility and the next goal and dream for us. So, you know, lifelong learning is this incredibly wonderful adventure and there's so much work to be done on the planet and so many people need our help. And we need all the helpers we can find. So, you know, I'm just thrilled that you've joined us today to hear about uh, our passion for this work. And I hope you'll join us in making a difference, changing the world, one conversation at a time. So who shall I pass the ball to? Over to you, Nadia. <laughs> Out of the present facilitator seems to be the last one, but guys, uh, it's really a huge privilege and a challenge to talk after all those amazing teachers of mine. They have been and will always stay like the, the guiding light in front of me. My journey with Erickson started in 2011, 2010, 2011. And I wasn't very passionate about coaching, to be honest with you. I was sent by my manager to teach uh, coaching because she was a visionary and she knew that that's the next big thing about business. And now hearing all of you and Lynn and Marilyn and um, Richard and Fabian about humanity, I could add 10 years later. But back then, it was just one thing I had to finish. And I will remember, actually, I will never forget module three. I was sitting in a different country because we didn't have a coach training back in Bulgaria then. Bulgaria is where I'm coming from. And I was sitting and I was listening to the teacher and I was mind blown by the fact that that's a whole new world I never really knew existed in my, I won't mention how many years of life <laughs> at that point. And by that time I was just, what, when, how, what, when, how, what, when, how type of person doing, acting and not really realizing that that's, there is so much more to life than that. And it not only opened up my eyes and mind about how I can live a life, but it also opened my heart. And thanks to that, I, I initiated, I was the one that invited Ericsson in my home country. And it hasn't stopped ever since then as a journey. And I want to echo here what Richard said. He said, solution-focused movement. 
And I want to warn you guys something. I want to warn you about my personal mission with coaching. And of course, if you want, please join me in that. But I want to warn you that you have not more than 15 years to make business out of this. Because after that, it's going to be a way of communicating between human beings. It's going to be a way of sharing each other. And the way I'm contributing, I personally am bringing this conversation not only to business, not only to future coaches, I'm bringing it to parents because I'm teaching Parent as Coach, which is an amazing program Marilyn Atkinson created. And I really want, by the way, Fab, thanks for sharing this statistic that 60% from uh, the population of Kenya are below 18. What a great potential <laughs> of starting this way of being from exactly this point in the world. Because um, Mary, now quote you here, you say that the quality of the problems we have created so far won't be solved by us. It will be solved by the generation that comes with the new type of thinking that we are currently planting in their minds. And that's the solution type of thinking. That's the uh, value-based type of acting. So basically, that's, that's what I'm standing for. And I totally echo what uh, my amazing teachers say. It's a never ending journey because how we coach is who we are and who we are is who, how we coach. And that's an adventure for a lifetime. Emily, back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to hand it over to um, uh, my fellow partners. I think Monira is here from Ghana and Wonde from Ethiopia. Hi, everyone. It's, it's a pleasure uh, to be here, uh, being in Africa and representing Ghana for Ericsson, on behalf of Ericsson. So first of all, thank you so much for holding this uh, beautiful evening, beautiful uh, uh, webinar. Happy to see uh, Richard, Fabian, Emily, you have done a wonderful job. I mean, I must go, it's commendable. Congratulations on building up alumni and then moving forward with Ericsson so uh, fiercely. Very nice. Uh, very, very glad to see my uh, mentor, uh, Marilyn Atkinson. Uh, Dr. Marilyn, thank you so much. I've been uh, following you before even becoming the partner for Ericsson. I've been really listening and all the videos and learning from all that YouTube stuff and so much you have contributed so much in this field. Uh, I guess everybody has said so much, definitely uh, solution focused coaching is the future, uh, especially uh, in terms of the speed, the world is changing, the world is growing and um, uh, especially with this COVID time when everybody is stuck in the home and they are forced to sit alone and think. I think solution focused coaching is the only solution now for everybody to survive, to everybody to work well on their emotions, on their relationships and on their career as well. Uh, limiting themselves because of the COVID, COVID, limiting themselves within their house space, then how to go about it, how to still be outstanding, how to build up their careers. Uh, I meet a lot of incubators here and I see people are stuck in their thinking process because what they are doing is they are following up the masses, thinking that one day they will be able to win a startup uh, funds from somewhere and uh, they are not well guided in terms of how, you know, how questions are not being built up in their minds. So I always introduce coaching as a solution for that area. Um, we have really enjoyed the CCL, which I was able to attend with uh, Emily's uh, alumni here. A couple of my other Ghanaian friends are also here. Jennifer is here and Consoleta is here. Uh, I hope they will also contribute something what was experienced. But that, uh, uh, that was a small course. CCL is a smaller course as compared to the art and science of coaching. 
And it, within that course also, we were able to come up with our pathway, our roadmaps for our career building. Uh, that was really amazing. I hope you can hear me, right, Emily? Am I audible enough? Yes, yes, you are. Did we lose you? I think we lost Munira. Wanda, do you want to go next? If, if Wanda is not here, then we can, we can hear from the rest of the alumni. If you would like to say I'm, something. I'm here, right? Oh, welcome, Wanda. Yeah, um, no, I, I had a problem with my connection, so that's why I need to uh, turn my video off. But I think you can all see me now. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so, no, just to say a few, uh, we came in contact with uh, Ericsson uh, through you, through Emily. Uh, so we, Emily and I, we we made that uh, we were both partners to Mercer, and we met at uh, an HR summit in South Africa, and we we got in we got the talking. And uh, she mentioned about Ericsson, how everything goes, and we started a conversation with Sasha, who turned uh, it, who, it, which turned out to be a very good experience for us. And at first, my first impression about the whole thing, and because we do give trainings here for corporates, and uh, uh, it's just a, a business for us. It's something that we do. Of course, we take it very passionately, but uh, uh, it's just uh, a business for us. But when it comes to coaching, I was really surprised by the enthusiasm of both Emily and Sasha about the, the whole thing. It's just, it's more than, uh, uh, more than something you do when it comes to coaching. So I really uh, was positively surprised about the, uh, the reflection from their side. So, uh, so that's something I want to project here. And we, I really appreciate uh, uh, the, the commitment and the, the love that you have to uh, uh, for the work and uh, I, I believe that that energy has been communicated to our team as well so uh, we have uh, a couple of people working on uh, training and development department and they are all very enthusiastic about coaching but the problem is it's not very uh, widely known here it's uh, quite a new concept in Addis in Ethiopia and uh, not until very recently that we get offers and uh, uh, our uh, uh, branding and marketing strategies to, for this are uh, also not being received very well. But quite recently, it has been coming up and people are seeing the advantage and we have been uh, getting some individual requests from uh, businesses as well. So I uh, really hope that uh, the, uh, this the sector thrives in Ethiopia, and uh, we come to be uh, a good partners of Ericsson. Uh, and nice to meet you all. I hope you heard everybody heard me. Yes, yes, we did. Thank you, thank you, Wendy. Yeah. All right. So, guys, the floor is open. Take it away. Who wants to go? Okay, I'll start. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Mary uh, right now getting into contact from Tennessee in the US. I was one of the first cohorts uh, from Nairobi, Kenya, and I was privileged to have my module one with um, Dr. Marilyn Atkinson. That was quite good. and. It was a, a quite, quite an uh, you know an honor for us to be able to have that. I have since finished up to module four, which was last year in uh, August. I've had an opportunity to do my mentoring, and I successfully applied my ACC with ICF last week, and I'm awaiting for feedback so that I can be able to do my assessment. And what I'm looking into so that I can actually increase my Coaching potential is to be uh, 
uh, to move all the grades from uh, PCC to MCC, and I'd also like to be an Ericsson facilitator. So that is my plan, and I've been working with a lot of the people I can see on the screen, and thank you very much for all the support that you've given us. Thank you, Mary. Congratulations on your progress. Most thank welcome. You. Thank you. All right, we have 15 more minutes. Um, if we can hear from other cohorts, CCL as well, you're welcome. Hi, this is Salma. So I was trained in 2019 by Lynn and then Halka, and then I'm doing my mentor coaching with Nadia. Um, like Mary, I'm just right behind her. I'm hoping to hand in my application before the end of this uh, month. And then be able to do my CKA and uh, continue my coaching career. I'm hoping to do to specialize in wellness coaching. I just wanted to say I had such a fantastic experience uh, with Ericsson. I had been considering coaching for a long time, but it just didn't click until I had a conversation with Emily. Um, and the reason I liked Ericsson was I felt it was a lot more holistic. Um, it wasn't just specifically uh, looking at executive coaching. And I was very intrigued with the new neuro, uh, NLP uh, background that um, Ericsson incorporates in its uh, coaching training. I pursued my neuro-linguistic NLP practitioner. So I'm actually a credentialed life coach. And all I can say is even today we had a triad with some of my cohorts and we just say Ericsson, the art and science of coaching, the four modules offer so much um, uh, depth in terms of the flexibility of their coaching experiences. You, you just become an amazing coach if you can just incorporate what we're being taught. So I'm really happy I chose Ericsson and I am looking forward to an exciting career as Nadia says for the next 15 years and then I'm done. Thank you, Salma. Mm -hmm. Who goes next? Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Maureen, and I, I don't know. Can you hear me? Yep. Uh, my name is Maureen, and um, first of all, I just want to say thank you, Emily, because, of course, if it wasn't for you, I couldn't even be sitting here. And I took coaching when Lynn was our facilitator. And uh, by that time, I had not ever heard about coaching. So it was such a new experience to me, but I really liked it. And it has really, really helped me in, um, of course, my personal life and people around me. And um, I don't have so much. And I think that's it. Thank you so much, Lynn. We've been talking aside, but... I appreciate you too and everyone else. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hi, hi. I hope I'm audible enough. This is Jane. Quite an exciting moment to see all of us here. It's been a long while, but I, I'm, uh, I started in the first cohort uh, by Dr. Marilyn. And uh, Nadia, we've gone through with Lynn, and it's been such a great experience. Actually, um, you wonder at a certain point of your life, something just happens to you, and it just boosts you up. It's just like an eye open, and it's like it opens to you another eye in the world. You get another dimension. And it's just so revealing. It's so an art thing. And it's just like, it shatters off what you were thinking in your mind. And uh, I think coaching has been such a love to me. It's just something that i am fallen in love with. You look at, um, recently I, I had a talk in Facebook and a friend of mine was, she was just like, Jen, I need to start this. Then I, I, we just went through five minutes and we had a plan. And there she was like, Jen, 
how did you do this? I tell her that is the way things go. Let's meet another time and just have a talk about it. It's life changing. And just the imagination that in every person, in your whole being, you, you just have what is sufficient to take you to the next stage. To an earth please, or just to have that small opening is so great. And I believe this is what the world needs. No one is there to, to tell everyone what to do and what not to do, but to soul search what is suitable for everyone, what is, what is the next best. So for me, this is what I've chosen. This is what I'm going forward with. I've done my mentoring coaching. I have about 10 sessions to go and then I make my application. Looking forward to so many, many wonderful times. Emily, we are here, I'm here around for the next big ideas, whatever is happening, I'm here. So thank you very much and my colleagues, let's continue. Thank you, Jane. All right, five more minutes, then we will wrap up. Anyone from CCL? Emily, can I? Yes, Lucy, sure. Thank you. Uh, my name is Lucy Kiyama and uh, I am in the, must be the youngest group uh, that is training to become coaches. We've just we are about to finish our module two in uh, actually on Thursday 10th, uh, being taught by lovely Nadia. She has been very, very inspiring to us. Um, and, and what I can say about coaching is that I used to think I was a coach. And, and I like what uh, Fabian said, that in Kenya, mentoring and coaching is, is, is considered one and, and the same thing. So I used to think I'm a coach because I had gone through some short few hours training to, you know, in a, in a, in a leadership and mentor uh, and, and um, management training on, on uh, and I thought I was a coach, but until I joined this class and I got to understand what coaching is and the difference between coaching, mentoring, you know, teaching and, and counseling and all that, that's when I started appreciating what coaching is. And I thank Emily so much because I had encountered her before and she's the one who encouraged me to, to, to come for this course. And, Emily, I have no regrets and I'm, go, I'm going all the way to the end, uh, even as I do my full-time job. Um, I think what has been very inspiring is that besides learning how to coach, we are learning how to also un unlock our own potentials. It's been very different for me for, for those, uh, you know, those, during those two modules that uh, we've covered so far. It's been life-changing. It's been very motivating, very inspiring. I've had conversations with a few people and um, some of them, in fact, some of my colleagues the other day asked me, Lucy, what have you been eating? And then <laughs> I asked them why, because these days we ask you what to do and you, you, you ask us questions instead of giving us solutions. And, and that's the new life that I've now uh, come to, to become uh, since I started this course. I also had conversations with some parents, uh, you know, just the way you, you, you talk with, with some who had uh, a, a few issues and they were like, Lucy, you, you are trained as a, you are training as a coach, please count us as, as your first clients. And I have about four of them lining up in January to, 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 to start coaching on different issues. So I want to thank the faculty. I want to thank, um, uh, Ericsson <laughs> International, thank Emily in a special way. I want to thank my colleagues because they have been my, 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 my pillars. We, we do the triad and we learn a lot from each other and it can never end. We want to continue and, and support each other until we become real professionals uh, in, in this area. So thank you very much. I'm happy to have joined this session. Beautiful, thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. Guys, you have a chance to speak. Otherwise, I think um, I think Marilyn is talking, but she's muted. There oh, I go. Yeah. yeah. May I have a, another word, Emily, for just a moment? I I want to invite everyone to a master class open to all our participants 
It's tomorrow at exactly this time. So look on your watch, whatever time it is. And uh, you just need to uh, log on to the um, Zoom channel again. Emily will know the channel. She can give it to you. I'll make sure she has it. And um, I'm going to do a 45-minute master class for all our graduates and uh, participants. And you're all participants uh, around the world. So please feel free to come and join us then. Thank you. Wow, thank you for that offer. Thank you, that would be amazing. I'll, be, I'll remind you, I'll share with you the link as well. Um, I want to give a last chance before I close the session. I would like to add, if you allow me. Huh? Yeah, because my, my uh, connection was bad at that time. So um, yes, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. And uh, I would love to initiate uh, uh, the art and science of coaching in Ghana as well, uh, with a complete uh, number of students uh, we are waiting for. So we would like more support in terms of uh, guiding us towards marketing. In fact, Emily, I would like, love to have your help and support to how did you initiate that in Kenya? So we can replicate the same thing here in Ghana as well. And I'm sure that uh, Ethiopia is also waiting to, uh, you know, do start up the first session of uh, the art and science of coaching there. So that's all. But uh, all together, I think it's a wonderful start. And we have so much now resources, these examples, what Emily has done in uh, Kenya. And uh, we are trying to build up on that. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Um, it has been quite heartwarming listening to you all. Um, and it's quite an honor and a privilege to have you join us. I think you heard that I'm, um, I, I am a visionary. I dream big. And um, I have a vision for coaching in Africa. And the people to help me deliver that vision is every, every one of you in this room. Everyone in, you, you, in, in this room, whether you will be a facilitator, or if it's just making that difference in your own home, if it's making that difference in your own personal lives, becoming a better leader, becoming a better mom, becoming a better dad, uh, you have a contribution to make. Um, we really have a responsibility and it's a big one. Um, I'm very much uh, looking forward to growing the Ericsson family, in, not just in Kenya, but you know, in Africa with, in partnership with, with colleagues and yourself so that we can expand. Coaching is a gift, so we shouldn't just hold on to the gifts by ourselves let's share it um, and i welcome you to be part of it if you ever want um, you know to be part of this big vision um, you can do it in different ways please approach us talk to us and i know you will have a part to play i am so honored to have been part of your journey i just want to say thank you love and hugs um, and you may say goodbye uh, and meet yourself have a lovely evening. Thank you, Emily. Bye. Could we take the last Bye. photograph before we all Thank go? you. Bye. Yeah, let's take a photo, Thank guys. You. Don't go. Photo. Thank you. Thank you. Photo. Please put your cameras on. Okay. <laughs> right. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays. You. Are you taking Bye. both screens? Three, there are three screens. Oh, oh there are three screens, okay. Yeah, oh, I have. Thank you, guys. Thank oh, you. hold on, hold on, I haven't done the second one. One second. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye, guys. Bye, bye. bye. thank you. Bye. 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 bye.